there's a way to answer those questions that I talked about earlier, um, about being able to articulate those specific examples of things that you've done in your past. That's how you win the interview. And um, there's an acronym that you can write down and that you can um, keep with you throughout your interview process because it applies to all of them. And it's STAR. Specific, task, action, result. Every time you're asked a question that begins with, tell us about a time, or um, think back in your past and uh, explain to us a time when you had to demonstrate blank. Anything that's gonna ask you for a specific example of something that you've done in your past experience, you can answer with this acronym. You wanna give them what the example was, that's being specific. What the task was or the situation that you had to set up. Then what action you took. And finally, what was the end result? Once you give the end result, you can stop talking because you just answered the question. So too many times candidates will go into this and they'll, they'll set it up great. They'll give me the, the specific situation, they'll tell me about the task, and then they'll go right to the result. And I'll have to back them up and say, well, what did you do to get that? Because they missed the action part. Or maybe they'll set it up great with the specific situation or what the task was, and they'll give me their action, and then they'll stop. And I'll have to probe deeper and say, well, what was the end result? What happened after you did this? So the more complete answers that you can give, the better off it looks that you actually did that, that job. So um, try to remember STAR and use it in your interviews. You can also prepare some of these examples ahead of time. Uh, if you're going into a position that's gonna have anything to do with customer service or sales, um, I guarantee you they're gonna ask you about a time when you had an upset customer. So you can think about some of these things that you've experienced in your past and start writing out and practicing what your examples are gonna be. If they ask you one where you don't have an example, the worst thing that you can do is to try to make one up because we, we know what we're looking for in an answer. And I train my hiring managers on how to pick up on false stars. So, don't try to be something you're not. The best thing that you can do is be honest with the interviewer. 